A swarm of bees moved into the set of drawers a few days beforehand, and I was called to remove them. So I gave the bees some smoke so that they would move away from the front of the drawers, and I gave myself some smoke so that they would move away from me. Then I tried to figure out which drawer the bees were building their hive in, and luckily I had some clues to help me figure it out. The top two drawers were slightly open, and it was clear that the bees were using these as the entrance to their hive. And I also had a very special clue that I almost never get to see, a video of the swarm of bees moving in. So I slowly opened the top drawer, and it had a lot of bees in it, but no comb. So I pushed the drawer closed, and I went on to the next one, and as soon as I started to pull this drawer open, I knew that I had found the hive. This drawer was full of bees in freshly built comb, and there were a lot of bees making little living chains of bees called festoons. Festooning is something that the bees do when they need to heat up the space in their hive to build comb. And when a swarm like this moves into a new location, the bees will get started working right away and they will build 90% of their hive in the first 45 days. And these bees were working hard to do just that. Some of the comb fell when I opened the drawer, but it was still intact and the bees had stored a lot of food in it. So whatever I took from the drawers, I put into wooden frames of the new hive. I used rubber bands to hold the comb into the frame, and I had to be extra careful with this comb because it was so fresh and delicate. But once I had the comb in the frame, I put it into the new hive. There wasn't too much comb, so it didn't take me very long to put it all into the frames. But at this point, I had not yet seen the queen or any bee eggs. But I was hopeful that this colony had a healthy queen, and I trusted that the bees would help me find her, so I kept on working. After I was done removing the comb from the drawers, it was time to get the bees into the new hive. So I took out the drawer where the bees were building their hive, and I took a moment to look for the queen. Since it's more likely she would have been in the hive area than not, I expected to see her, but I didn't see the queen, and instead I saw a ton of female worker bees. So I shook these bees out of the drawer and into the new hive. Then I opened the next drawer, and there were even more bees than I expected. This drawer also had a bag of potting soil in it, which I'm pretty sure the bees would have just built around had everything been left in the drawers. I took a moment to look for the queen, but I didn't see any signs of her. So I carefully grabbed the bag, and I tipped it over, and I put it on the side with the most bees, and I put that side right on top of the hive. But none of the bees were really going into the hive, so I got my smoker to encourage them to move off the bag and into the new hive. Bees move away from smoke just like we do, so giving this bag a few puffs of smoke in the right direction did the trick, and the bees started moving off the bag and into the new hive. All the while, I was searching for the queen, but I didn't see her. So I did the same thing with this drawer as I did with the first, and I just tapped it on the side of the hive to dump the bees out. I was looking for any sign of the queen or of the bees telling me where she was, but I didn't see any, so I set this drawer off to the side. Any bees still on it would find their way back to the colony as quickly as they could. I opened the next drawer and this drawer was also full of bees, but again, no queen. So I dumped these bees into the new hive. Then I set the drawer aside so that the bees wouldn't be tempted to go back in and to eliminate one more place for the queen to hide. By this point, most of the colony was gathering at the back of the dresser now. So it was time for one of my favorite things to do in the world. It was time to start scooping bees into the new hive. Some bee removals require more scooping than others, and sometimes the bees aren't in a situation where scooping helps them at all. But these drawers were full of bees, and the easiest and most efficient way for me to get them into the new hive was to just scoop them up with my hands. My goal was to get more bees into the new hive than in the drawers so that the colony would naturally want to move into the new hive on its own. I scooped the largest clumps of bees I saw first. 
and this removal had a lot of what I call blind grabs in it. That's what I call it when I can't really see the bees I'm scooping before I stick my hands in whatever they're living in. But these bees, like most swarms, were extremely gentle. By nature, bees are defensive, but they are not aggressive. And these bees didn't have many resources to defend, and I was handling them in a way that they did not feel unsafe or like they were being threatened. So these bees were not trying to sting me, even though I couldn't always see what I was doing. And I just kept scooping pile after pile of bees into the new hive. By this point, I was really surprised that I had not yet seen the queen, and I think I was actually getting a little nervous that I wouldn't find her or that something bad might have happened to her. But the bees were telling me that she was still somewhere on the set of drawers, so I just kept searching, shaking, and scooping up bees. By this point, most of the colony was in the new hive, but there were still a few more drawers that had some bees hiding in them. So I decided to remove all of the drawers so that the bees and the queen would have less places to hide. After I removed the last two drawers, I used my smoker to break up the smaller clumps of bees. And all of a sudden, I saw the queen. The queen was on the back of the dresser, running around looking for a place to hide. So I put her in a clip so that I wouldn't lose her. Whenever I find the queen in a removal, it's always one of the best feelings in the world, and it's still exciting for me every time. And this was a healthy looking queen, and I was happy to have her safe and sound in the clip, so I put her in the new hive so that she could be with the rest of her colony. Now was the time where I could just sit back, relax, and let the bees do the rest of the work. I gave them a little bit of encouragement with my smoker so that they would start moving into the new hive quicker, and pretty soon, bees were rushing to get into their new hive to be with their queen. They were following the scents of the other bees and running as fast as they could to join their colony, so I just waited and watched. Here's a sped up version of the bees finding their way into their new hive. And after about 20 minutes or so, the colony seemed completely settled into their new hive. The drawers were almost completely free of bees now, and it was clear that the colony had found their queen and were recognizing the new hive as their new home. So I put a lid on the hive to cover the bees for the trip home. This was a really fun removal, and I was thankful to be the keeper of such a wonderful colony of bees. So I strapped the hive together, I carried the bees to my truck, we drove home, and it was another great day of saving the bees.